Welcome! In this video, you will learn how to use the Barcode Track and Trace System web application to analyze logistic transactions collected through the mobile app. This video will be in three parts, the setup, the dashboard, and the pages. First, we need an account. Go to bttspsrporgph forward slash index.php from a Google Chrome, Firefox, or Edge web browser. If you're an authorized user, a facility code and a default password will be provided for you to log in. Once you're logged in, you will be taken to the dashboard. On your dashboard's upper right-hand corner, you will see today's date, your facility's name, and the logout button. The main menu is located on the left side of the screen, where you can navigate back to the dashboard, go to Logistic Details, Transaction, Stockout, Overstock, Allocation, and Change Password. On the dashboard center screen, web app users are promptly given a picture of their facility's stock situation. Graphical illustrations of the number of facilities with stockouts and overstocks, the stocks on hand, and the quantities of overstocks per contraceptive type are displayed in real time. Let's start analyzing data by clicking on the Logistics Details tab on the left side menu. Filter and select specific levels of the distribution pipeline and their correlated stock levels. On the Stock Levels table, view real-time status of contraceptive commodities of the selected facility. See the second column to analyze the current stocks on hand. The third column shows the three-month average use of issued commodities to clients. The fourth column shows the recommended number of stocks that the facility should have after resupplying. The fifth column is the number of months the stocks on hand for type of contraceptive would last. The sixth column is the prescribed stocking level minus the stocks on hand. A negative difference is recorded as zero, meaning the number of available commodities in the facility is more than the prescribed stocking level and redistribution may be implemented to avoid possible wastage due to expiration. Click on a button from the last column to display expiration details. Web app users are given the information on whether stocks of the same type have multiple expirations, reminding them of the first expiry, first out storage principle. Close the box and head over to the transaction page. Here you'll see the list of facilities and their contraceptive receipts and issuances by navigating through the filters. Each facility is only authorized to edit or update their own transactions, while adding new ones can only be done by the DOH central facility. Note that initial stocks on hand is a receipt transaction to establish the beginning balance. Click on the Export button to view the list in an Excel spreadsheet. Let's click on Stock Out to see facilities with zero stocks on hand. Use the filters to keep track of the contraceptive commodity and its geographical location. A negative number of stocks appear when facilities issue commodities to clients or facilities without first entering the beginning balances through the receipt transaction in the mobile app. You can view the list in an Excel spreadsheet by clicking on the Export button. Now click on Overstock. Similar to the Stockout page, keep track of the commodities by using these filters. Here you'll view the list of facilities with stocks on hand exceeding their prescribed stocking levels. Find the Export button to open the list in an Excel spreadsheet. Head straight to Allocation. Here you will see the computed quantity of stocks to be distributed to the facilities. In this example, the Ilocos region will be stocked up by the DOH Central with each contraceptive commodity good for six months. 
The allocation is determined by rounding up the quantity required. It is computed by taking the prescribed stocking level less the stocks on hand. Save this on an Excel spreadsheet by again clicking on the Export button. Now click on Change Password. This is the page to reset the account password for security purposes. Facility account administrators are required to change the default password provided when first logging in. Tour complete! Skip back to these timestamps for specific steps. Replay the BTTS introduction video or the previous video to learn how to collect data on your Android phones.